When people talk about the health benefits of olive oil, you may hear about a compound called hydroxytyrosol. It's a type of polyphenol that plays a role in olive oil's anti-inflammatory and heart protective effects. But here's the thing, hydroxytyrosol is just one piece of the puzzle. Olive oil contains a whole lineup of compounds that work together to deliver its health benefits. Take oleocanthal for instance, another polyphenol with strong anti-inflammatory properties, or oleoripian, found in higher amounts in fresh olive oil, which acts as an antioxidant and helps protect against artery damage. And we can't forget about oleic acid, the main type of fat in olive oil, which is known to lower blood pressure, improve cholesterol levels, and reduce the risk of heart disease. So while hydroxytyrosol is important, it's not the whole story. Focusing only on it is missing the bigger picture. By the way, I review a lot of supplements here, so subscribe and hit the bell to stay updated. And support me on coffee if you enjoy the content. In fact, most of the major health benefits tied to olive oil, like lower risk of heart disease, breast neoplasms, diabetes, and high blood pressure, come from regularly eating olive oil as part of an overall healthy diet, like the Mediterranean diet. The benefits seem to come from the combined action of all these compounds, not just one. No major studies have isolated hydroxytyrosol or polyphenol levels alone and shown dramatically better results. It's all about the whole food, not a single chemical. That's why brands like Dr. Gundry's Olive Oil, which market themselves based on their high polyphenol content, are really just using a marketing gimmick. It doesn't actually make their oil any healthier than any other good quality olive oil. Olive oil has a lot of genuine health benefits, but some claims out there definitely go too far. So let's break it down and take a look at what the research actually says. There is decent evidence that olive oil can help prevent cardiovascular disease. Observational studies suggest that eating at least 25 grams a day, less than two tablespoons, is linked to a lower risk of heart disease and even lower overall mortality compared to eating less. The main reason seems to be that the unsaturated fats in olive oil replace saturated fats like butter, leading to improvements in blood pressure and cholesterol levels. For example, when diets rich in extra virgin olive oil were compared to diets rich in butter, people on the olive oil diet had better heart health. So while olive oil's polyphenols are helpful, the primary heart health benefits mostly come from the unsaturated fats it contains. Olive oil also appears to support better blood sugar control in people with type 2 diabetes. Research shows that a higher intake of olive oil is linked to a lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes compared to low intake. And for those already living with diabetes, olive oil intake has been shown to reduce blood sugar and HbA1c levels compared to no intervention. Interestingly, the effects of olive oil aren't dramatically better than those of fish oil or other polyunsaturated fat rich oils. Again, this suggests it's mainly the healthy fats in olive oil, not the polyphenols, driving these benefits. When it comes to neoplasm prevention, the picture is a little less clear. Olive oil consumption seems to be most protective against breast neoplasms. Several studies show that higher intake is linked to a lower risk. For gastrointestinal neoplasms, the results are mixed. Some benefits are seen for esophageal or pancreatic neoplasms, but no strong connection has been found for stomach or colorectal neoplasms. There's also some evidence suggesting olive oil could help lower the risk of ovarian neoplasms. Overall, while olive oil seems promising for breast neoplasm risk reduction, its effect on other types of neoplasms are still uncertain. Some claim olive oil improves brain health or protects against cognitive decline with age. There's some early evidence to back this up. A small study in older adults with mild cognitive impairment found that consuming extra virgin olive oil daily led to slight improvements in Alzheimer's cognitive scores. Interestingly, oils richer in polyphenols seem to work a little better, suggesting that polyphenols might play a specific role here. Still, the effects were quite small and only appeared in people with cognitive impairment, not healthy individuals. And even then, they required fairly large amounts of olive oil, around 50 milliliters a day, for any noticeable impact. 
you'll hear a lot of talk about olive oil being great for moisturizing skin, strengthening hair, or even fighting wrinkles. But most of that is just hype. The research here is pretty thin. A small clinical study found that using a cream made with both olive oil and aloe vera helped ease eczema symptoms. Early research in people with psoriasis also suggests that a blend of olive oil, honey, and beeswax might improve their skin condition. This same mixture has been tested on a few types of fungal skin infections as well, although the evidence there is still pretty limited. In another small trial, women who had just undergone a cesarean section found slightly better wound healing when they applied a cream containing virgin olive oil compared to those who used a placebo. But since these products mix olive oil with other active ingredients, it's hard to say whether the olive oil alone is benefiting your skin more than say a regular moisturizing cream. For example, preliminary research shows that olive oil alone doesn't seem to prevent stretch marks during pregnancy, which just adds to the evidence that its realistic skin benefits are likely limited at best. One common myth is that olive oil helps with weight loss. Unfortunately, research doesn't support this. A meta-analysis of clinical trials found that taking olive oil daily doesn't lead to weight loss, lower body fat, or a smaller waistline compared to placebo. In fact, in some cases, it might even slightly increase fat mass and weight circumference while reducing lean muscle mass. Olive oil definitely offers real health benefits, particularly for heart health, diabetes management, breast neoplasm prevention, and possibly for supporting brain health in people with Alzheimer's. Most of these benefits are thanks to the healthy fats like oleic acid, not the polyphenols like hydroxytyrosol. This means that the idea that only the priciest, highest polyphenol olive oils give you extra health advantages isn't strongly backed by research. A good quality extra virgin olive oil from almost any reputable brand can still offer impressive benefits, especially if it replaces less healthy fats and oils in your diet. In fact, many other plant-based oils rich in unsaturated fats, like avocado oil, can offer similar advantages, particularly for your heart and blood vessels. That said, if flavor, aroma, and the satisfaction of choosing something exceptional matters to you, there's still a special joy in picking a truly top tier olive oil. Always go for extra virgin, which means the oil was mechanically pressed without chemicals or heat, preserving all its natural ingredients. Freshness is key. Olive oil doesn't age well, so look for a harvest date on the bottle and pick one that's less than a year old. After opening, try to use it within two to three months. Packaging matters too. Dark glass bottles or tins are best because they protect the oil from light and heat, which can break down its beneficial compounds. Pay attention to where the oil comes from. Trustworthy producers often highlight a single estate or region rather than listing vague multiple countries. Also, high quality olive oil should taste fruity, a little bitter, and have a bit of a peppery kick. That's a good sign. Certifications from groups like the California Olive Oil Council or European PDO labels can give extra peace of mind, but they aren't absolutely necessary. Finally, be suspicious of prices that seem too good to be true. Making real high quality virgin olive oil isn't cheap, so rock bottom prices usually means rock bottom quality. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Young. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Feel free to share them in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you know someone who could benefit from this, please share it with them. Finally, if you enjoy what we do and want to learn more, consider supporting us on Coffee, and be sure to check out our other socials as well.